Welcome, I'm Mr. Kennedy of Kennedy Teaching, and today I'm going to bring you some quick and easy tips on how to find out if a number is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. So let's get started with that, and let's talk about what does divisibility mean. So what does this word divisibility mean? In fact, what does that word even look like? So let's get the word divisibility written first. All right. Sorry, my I's and L's are taking over. So divisibility. We're doing really good today. Divisibility. There we go. All right. So if we look at this two word, we actually see two things. We see the word division. Which is spelled with an N. Plus, looks like a T. Let's just say division and ability. I like to say that divisibility is the ability. to divide evenly. The ability to divide evenly. And the question is, what does this word evenly mean? Does that mean that it must always come out as a two, four, six, eight, or a zero? No, it definitely doesn't mean that. What I mean by the ability to divide evenly is talking about whether we have a decimal or not. If it has a decimal, this is not evenly. But if it's just a whole number, a whole number such as three, this is evenly. And this is what we we're talking about. We want no remainder. So no remainder, no decimal, that's what it means even when we talk about evenly. So divisibility is the ability to divide evenly with no remainder and no decimal. So let's take a first look real quick at two. And we can actually create a rule. There are rules in math what we can use to identify things in a much more easier way. So we're gonna look at these numbers right here. Every single one of these numbers are divisible by two. 20, 24, 26, 40, 48, 42, 612, 40, 26. They're all divisible by two. Now, how could we easily identify that? Other than me telling you, there has to be a way. And I know some of you are going, well, let's skip count. Two, four, six, eight. But are you really going to skip count when you get to numbers like 40,278? You skip count up to there and tell me when you get there. I've got an easier way for you. Let's take a real quick look here at what looks similar among these. And if you notice really quick, the last number, zero, four, six, zero, eight, two, two, zero, six. They are all even numbers. Someone asked me before, what does this sign mean? This is a number sign. So all even numbers. So that's what we have. And that is actually the divisibility rule for two. Any number Any number that is even. So any number that is even will be divisible by two. That's the basis of it. Any even number is divisible by two. As long, pay attention, close attention, as long as it's the whole number. When we're talking about divisibility rules, we're always talking about whole numbers. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one divisible by five. And once again, we've got a whole set of numbers here. 20, 25, 35, 40, 95, 175, 610, 400, 265. And you're probably going, oh, Mr. Kennedy, I heard what you just said. 
And I was saying, as I was reading out the numbers, it's very easy to recognize what's in common here. Once again, it deals with the ending number, the last number in the ones digit of a whole number. And it's either zero or five. So any number or any whole number, let's be very specific here, any whole number that ends in zero or five is divisible by five. Once again, it's very simple. Any number that ends in zero or five is divisible by five. Let's move on to the last one. Divisible by 10. I'm gonna read them off and you're gonna catch it again. Watch, 20, 30, 70, 40, 90, 170, 610, 400, 260. Just looking at it and hearing it, you quickly see that every single one of these end in a zero. So that makes the rule very simple. Any number, whole number, once again, any whole number that ends in zero will be divisible by 10. Any whole number that ends in zero will be divisible by 10. That's really it for two, five, and 10. Those are some of the easiest ones to figure out and most of us can identify those just by seeing the repeated use. Be sure to click on for part two to find out how to tell if a number is divisible by three, six, and nine. And that'll come up in the next video. So thank you for joining me today. But it's time for me to move on and it's time for you to go on out and have some fun. So I'll see you next time.